happy Sunday, everybody. It's Kelly with ifyouhaveadig.com, and today is Sunday, May the 19th. It's time for another chat. Let's see, this one is number 123, and it is titled, Open Your Mind. So, we're already at 123. It's unbelievable. It's absolutely crazy. And hopefully there will be several of you with us here tonight because we're going to make something special in part two. It's not so much special. It's just something neat and cool and something that used to take forever to make. And now it just doesn't. Now it's just super easy to make. Um, but I'm not going to give you a hint. I'm not going to give you a hint of what it was or what it is. Hello, April. If you, um, or, but if you saw it on Instagram, you might have gotten just a little, just a little hint. Hello, Betty. And hello, Carol Lou. Yeah. Hi, everybody. If you're watching this with us live, hello, Irma. We are going to be saying hi and hello a lot. And so if you're watching it live, Please do say hi, hello. If it's your very first time, let us know because we would love to welcome you. Hello, Irma. I already said Irma. Hello, Mary Ann. Hello, Christy. Hello, Sandy. Okay, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. I hope you got dried out. So apparently she has been, it's been like waterlogged all day. So hopefully you got dried out and here, oh, sorry, got a little itch. Here is some sunshine for Sandy in Northeastern Kansas. Hello, Kim. Hello, Rosie. Hello, yes, my Christy. Hello, and um, April, thank you. This is another one of my shirts from Spreadshirt, and I have to just tell you, hello Carla, these are like the softest shirts ever. So if you haven't ordered one of them yet, they have all of our designs on there, and Casey's actually adding a couple of new ones. Hello Sherry, and hello Sandra from Demon's Fairy. Um, but if you get a chance to order one, first of all, it supports us, and hello Sylvia in Canada, and hey, 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 Jennifer from Florida. Um, but they're like the softest, these are the softest shirts ever, and it's Spreadshirt.com, and then search if you have an egg. Anyway, it is um, Sunday, I have to look again, Sunday, May the 19th, and again, if you're watching with us live, please say hi and hello, like Karen just did, hello Karen, and hello Tag, and if you're watching this with us later, um, oh, yeah, hold on, I'll talk about my nails in a second, Kim, um, so if you're watching this later, if you're watching it on YouTube.com, search if you have an egg, or later on Facebook, and if you don't want to say see the hi hellos, like who doesn't want to say hello, please scroll to about 10 minutes, hello Lisa, because we're gonna say a lot of them. And hello, Barbara from the Crossroads. It's good to see you. Wasn't it a gorgeous, even though it was a hot day today? And hello, Sherry from um, Connecticut. And hello, Susan. So yeah, it has been a warm, 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 sunny day here. And sorry, you know, to those of you that are trapped in the rain. Hello, Dee. So Dee, I don't know what to tell you. Turn your volume up. Everybody else seems to be okay so far. Um, and Lindsay, thank you. That was a gift from my husband. Hello, Alicia from, ooh, what's M-Y? Hmm. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Sandra. Yeah. So I even put the, I even put the iPad up on something that is open on the bottom, that is open on the bottom so that maybe you could hear me. And hello, Melissa, back from sunny Galveston. And hello, Thelma from Minnesota. Barbara can hear me fine. Great. Yep. And so we'll talk about the nails um, for just a second. Alicia. Okay. Montana. So I was thinking, okay, I know there's not another state that I don't know of. So I was thinking it must be some exotic foreign country. And hello, Sherry from Iowa. And hello, Jennifer. Oh, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Jennifer said she liked my hair like this. It's because we've had Alyssa most of the day. <laughs> this is the best I could do. Hello, Inez. Aloha, Kathy. Hello, Sandra from Memphis. And hello, Lacey. Hello, Penny from Deer Park. Is that Deer Park, New York? Not sure. Where is Deer Park? Hello, Lindsay. And hello, Margie from Idaho. So do you all just eat potatoes all day in Idaho? I'm just kidding. Of course, you know, I would say that. But let's talk about my nails real quick. I am still loving Color Street. Um, and look, they even go with my purple shirt today. Hello, Bernice from Northeast Texas. They even go with my shirt today. Hi, Penny. Um, Oh, Penny from, Te oh, Texas. Oh, it's from Texas. Oh, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, they even go with my shirt. It's called Fuchsia something or the other. Hello, Lindsay. Um, and Lindsay, some people do like to say where they're from. So it's up to you. It's absolutely up to you if you want to say, you know, if you want to say where you're from or not. And Dee, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say because I actually feel like I'm yelling. Um, and I will think about getting a clip-on microphone just for you, Dee just for you. So I will consider doing that. But anyway, today is, oh, hello, Lynn. So today is Sunday and it is May, and I keep looking at my watch. It is May the 19th. Um, I did not get to go to my workshop last week because we had my, um, my dad's service um, last Tuesday night and that is on, that is my meeting night. And Lindsay is from Gilbert, Arizona. Yeah. Yep. And Trish says, good, good evening, everyone from California. So let's see, Trish, 
it's five o'clock there, right? So you all could, y'all still have a lot of time left to go. And hello, Chris from West Tennessee. Yeah, and Barbara got it, it. Is it the volume, I guess, to work out, Barbara? I hope so. Um, but anyway, so we've got a lot to talk about tonight. Did not get to go to my workshop last week. Um, let's see, and Rosie said, oh, Rosie says she can hear me fine. Um, Melissa's asking how the service was. And hello, Pam from New York City. So the service was really good, I think. Um, we just asked people to, um, oh, and Tag's having to use her headphones to hear me lately. Okay, I think it's because I'm on the iPad. I don't know, but I even, you all would laugh if you could see this. You all are on a cookie um, cooling rack so that there are holes underneath it so that maybe, you know, maybe that would help with the volume. Maybe not. So anyway, I will think about a clip-on um, a clip-on microphone. But anyway, I think the service went really well. Um, I did not, um, I did not watch the slideshow, the, you know, the thing of his pictures. Uh, Casey did it and I watched a couple of them and went, nope. Not going to be able to do that, so I'll watch it later. And hello, uh, Betty. Thank you for welcoming all the new people. Hello, Jeanette from Southwest Pennsylvania. So is anybody new? Are there any new people here tonight? Go ahead and give us a shout out. And even if you're watching it later, if you're watching it on YouTube or on Facebook later, go ahead and say hi, hello, if you are new, because we would love to welcome you. Whoop, and Libby finally made it to a live meeting. She's got it in, air, in quotes, meeting. Yeah, so hello. And hello, Sylvia, all the way from Canada. Oh, and Marion has to use her headphones too. Don't know what to tell you because I feel like I'm screaming. I feel like I'm yelling. But you know, anyway, apparently I'm a little, a little soft-spoken, even though I don't think I am. But back to the nails real quick. Um, one of the ways you can support us is because you know, we don't ask for any money. But, but one of okay, that's a, that's fine. D D says she's going to unsubscribe because this is the third week. D, we hate to hear you. We hate to see you go. But there's not much I can do about it other than you know try to get a microphone. So sorry. Um, maybe you can just watch this later. But anyway, so, um, and you don't really have to unsubscribe. You just have to click not, just don't follow it. Um, and, and it just won't pop, these won't pop up. So it's your choice, you know, whether or not you watch. So, but we hate to see you go, D. But it, we don't ask for any money. So the ways that you can support us, one of them is, you know, through ordering t-shirts. Only if you want a t-shirt from Spreadshirt. And then Casey is trying to supplement, you know, all this time that we spend doing this by selling Color Street nails. Plus, we just like the nails. And, um, but yeah, so this is this week's color. So I have been doing really well. I have not, look at this, I have not been chewing. I have not been chewing on the sides of my nails. These have stayed on. They don't, they've not been chipping and coming off. So this is called fuchsia something, something or the other. But anyway, they've been pretty easy, you know, pretty easy to put on, you know, and they've lasted a really long time. And, you know, and Casey and I sell granite as a, um, you know, as a normal job. And so when I pick up granite and set it down, pick it up and set it down, pick it up and set it down, a lot of times it chips. So I have never, ever, ever, don't, I don't ever do my nails, but anyway, I'm loving Color Street. So maybe if Casey gets on here later, maybe she can tell you all the, you know, give you all her link. Um, Cause I know it's like C N Bohan and something, but I don't remember what it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and start talking about WW stuff though. Last week, does anybody remember what we talked about? You all had like, and Trish, I have no idea if they'll work with acrylic nails. We'll have to ask Casey later. But you all had one of your best homework weeks ever. I mean, it was in like the top, in the top five, maybe in the top three. Hello, Loretta. Maybe in the top three homework weeks ever. You all posted me in some awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. And Lindsay's exactly right. It was all about protein. So last week, we talked about the protein advantage. And yes, YouTube people, I know it's backwards. But we talked about the protein advantage last week. And we talked about things that were a surprise. Um, you know, how much protein they had, you know, how much protein they had in them. And you all posted some really cool stuff, some things that I had no idea. You know, like last week we found out that a banana has protein in it. And we found out, um, we looked at lots of other things like egg whites have almost as much protein as an actual egg. I see, I always thought the protein was in the yolk part of it, but it had just as much. One of you all um, posted um, oatmeal. Just oatmeal by itself has a little, you know, has a little bit of protein in it. So who who went last week um, to your physical workshop? So who sat who sat in a physical workshop last week? So give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you sat in your physical workshop last week. And we'll talk a little bit more about protein in a second. So let's see some thumbs ups. And if you attended here with us last week, so if you were on the live chat last week, or if you did both. Then let's see this. Oh no, Cheryl says it's allergy season and equals steroids. Oh no, I hate that so 
sorry. Oh no, and that doesn't help with weight loss either. But let's see some hearts if you attended both. And there's lots of you, lots and lots and lots of you. And if you're watching this later, you know, you don't. Ha if you're watching this later, you can't do the live thumbs up and the live hearts. But thank you for those of you who are doing them. There's lots of going up. Love those. Here are your Bravo stickers for that. Bravo. And then I think I got everybody <clears throat> that posted their protein that posted their protein homework because your homework last week was to find three things or up to three things or more that you didn't realize had um, that you didn't realize have had you know protein or as much you know as much protein um, and y'all had some really really good ones again you know the oatmeal I don't know why the oatmeal is the one that's getting me but I had never even really thought about the fact that it would have you know some protein in it so um, so that was your weekly last week the protein advantage your homework was to find some things that had protein in them that you were surprised about or that had more protein um, than you realized. And thanks, Tag. Um, but um, y'all had lots of good homework, lots and lots and lots. Please keep sharing those because the rest of us need, still need to know that. So just because last week's chat is done, just because it's over, you know, it's on the on the shelf now on you know on YouTube. Um, keep posting those though because I think they were really really helpful. They were helpful to me, and I know they were helpful to some other people. And then. I don't know if we looked at the recipe for last week or not, but does that not look delicious? It was for egg and avocado tacos. So it's those little bitty street tacos, those little, um, you know, the little street taco tortillas, whatever you call them, but they're tiny. You could do that with, you know, the cut to carb if any of y'all are, are buying that. Um, but these are so cute. And let's see, I can't remember if it said how much protein this had in it, but it does have, the, you know, lots of things that have that have protein in them. Anyway, they are vegetarian, and they're, you know, if you make them with this kind of, with that kind of um, shell, then they are also gluten-free, you know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Lynn's was, oh, Lynn was the one with the oatmeal. That was you. Whipped Greek cream cheese. I've never seen whipped Greek cream cheese. Who has? Who, who has it in your area? I've never seen it. And blueberry. So that was a good one. So thank you all for doing your homework. Everybody who did their homework. And if you keep doing your homework, here are your extra Bravo stickers. Good job. And if you tag me in the post, then I'll actually give you a Bravo sticker. It's in the comments, but you know. And Melissa's been adding a scoop of protein powder that's 100 calories or less to her sugar-free pudding. Ooh, good job. Yeah, so she's bulking that up. Bulking that up too. That's awesome. Because remember, we were last week we were talking about hashtag bulk it up, but we were talking about hashtag bulk it up in on protein. Normally this is a fruit or a veggie when we talk about it, but we were doing it with protein last week. So good job everybody. And Misty says they have the Greek um, cream cheese in Ohio. Okay. Yep. I don't ever get to go to Ohio, or rarely ever. So I'll have to I'll have to keep a close eye out for it here. So. That was last week. That was last week. This week, again, I did not get to go because we had the services for my dad, um, but that is okay because we can always download our weekly. We can download that from the internet. And so I printed out a big copy because you can print it out, you know, either in an eight and a half by 11 or you can print it out small. And so here it is. So last week we talked about opening your mind. And even though I wasn't I did wasn't in attendance last week. I didn't sit my bottom in a little chair last week. Um, this is this is a topic that we talk about every single year, every single year, um, and it's a good one. And every single year, I think, oh, we've already talked about that. But then every single year, I remember that there are that I need to do this. <laughs> that even twenty something years later, almost twenty five years later, that I still need to do this. But I want to show you all. I know I say this all the time. I'm really making this one. I really, really, really am. Um, yeah, and Franny, you can print them out. Yeah, I do. So if you don't attend um, a physical meeting, you can print these out. So they don't print out, like you can't click on it and print it. You have to save it as a picture. You have to save it as a JPEG picture, and then you can and then you can print them out. But look at this week's recipe. This week's recipe is Thai chicken and coconut soup. I love, love, love Thai food. Um, and I love coconut flavored things. So I am really, 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 let's see, Barbara wants to know what is that black thing in the bottom? This, if you're asking about this, Barbara, you're gonna have to wait just a few minutes because this is something we're gonna use to, I've also lowered you all down a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing today. And hello, Lisa. So if this is what you're talking about, Barbara, 
you're gonna have to wait a few minutes. I'm just using it as a platform so that you can see what I'm doing. But anyway, this Thai chicken and coconut soup, it's got um, Thai red curry paste, light coconut milk, chicken broth, rice vermicelli noodles. Um, oh yeah, okay, and let's see, frozen mixed vegetables, baby bok choy, cooked skinless chicken breast, fresh lime, and cilantro leaves. So. What we're making in the second half, and yeah, Barbara, you're just gonna have to wait. So what we're making in the second half tonight could I, could be used in this, and I'll show you in a few minutes. So I'm definitely I'm definitely making this this week. But it is Thai chicken and coconut soup. It takes it says it takes 15 minutes of prep time, 10 minutes to cook. It serves four, and it is five smart points per ser serving. And a serving is approximately one and three fourths cups, so it's almost two cups. So I have a feeling that's gonna be good. But look how pretty that is. Is that not absolutely beautiful? Okay, so this week, we're talking about opening your mind. So we've been talking a lot about meditation. In the last few weeks, we've been talking about, you know, blowing out the candle, you know, you know, blowing out the candle, you know, when things are going on, we've been talking about emotional eating. So it seems like, it seems like opening your mind would, you know, just be this, you know, the same thing that we've been talking about for the last few weeks, but it is not. And we do talk about this every single year. Um, and, but again, I need to go back and remind myself too. So what they're, what they're talking about is a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. So a fixed mindset is okay to have on certain things. If they are, if they are things that you can't have any effect on that are not going to change, if they're things that are going to be what they're going to be, what they're going to be. So a fixed, a good fixed mindset would be something like, you know, I know, I know that I can go to sleep tonight and when I get up tomorrow, it's going to be a new day. That's a fixed mindset. I know that each day starts all over again. Um, so I have a fixed mindset about that. I have a fixed mindset that the sun's going to come up every day. Even if it's raining, the sun is going to come up. So that's a, you know, that is a fixed mindset. But what they're talking about this week in our weekly and, and in our workshops is that sometimes a fixed mindset when it comes to our weight loss can be it can be a big stopping, you know, stopping point for us when we, when our fixed mindset is things like, um, thank you, Sandra. This is one of our spread shirts. Um, but a fixed mindset can be a bad thing, you know, during your weight loss journey when it becomes a stumbling block, when it stops you, you know, from being able to do anything. So, uh, so a fixed mindset might be something like, I, you know, I can't walk 10,000 steps or I don't know what to do or I won't ever lose all of my weight. Or, you know, you have a fixed mindset that I'm going to lose weight and then I'm going to gain it all back again. That's a fixed, that is a fixed mindset. So, what they're encouraging us to do is to have a growth mindset. So, let me read this to you real quick. Um, on your journey, mindset matters. When you have a growth mindset, you're ready to embrace opportunities and face setbacks without self-criticism. You believe things and people can change. When you have a fixed mindset, you believe that situations, people, or habits can't change. You tend to blame yourself for the setbacks and to downplay your progress rather than celebrate or take ownership of it. A growth mindset will help you tackle challenges and keep making keep making progress. The good news, you can move from a fixed to a growth mindset. So you can, hey Mandy, you can, just because you've had a fixed mindset about something, you know, for 10 years, 20 years, if you're 70 for 70 years, you can, you can teach an old dog new tricks. You can go, you know, move to a growth mindset. So they give us three ways to do that. Learn to identify a fixed mindset. So if something keeps happening and you think I can't or I won't or I never will, um, then you, you have to learn to identify that. You have to stop and say, hey, and we're going to talk about that for our homework. Hey, this, you know, I can change this. This is, this is, you know, I'm thinking the same thing over and over and over again. You know, I have to change it. And what is that? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. That's kind of what they're talking about here. Then talk back to it. So in a growth mindset voice, remind yourself, remind yourself of challenges you've already, you've already overcome, of things that you've already done differently um, and in the, in the past and what you learned. And then think, how can I apply that to this situation? And how can I approach this with a new, you know, approach this new challenge? And then the third thing is to keep practicing. So the more often that you talk back to yourself that you, in a good way, you know, not just talking to yourself, but the more um, times that you talk back to yourself, you know, and give you, give yourself this positive, you know, positive speak feedback, um, 
you know, the better it's going to work. So you all have all heard, I know you have, you know, and you've heard of, you know, these positive feedback things, you know, and there used to be a joke about it on, you know, Saturday Night Live where you get up in the morning and you talk to yourself and you say, you know, I am a good person, you know, I am worthy, I'm whatever. But there is, you know, some merit to that. And I know um, a lot of Bible study groups, and we're, I'm going to show you something on my phone. I'm not texting while we're doing this. Um, but a lot of Bible study groups will do that too. They'll say, you know, they'll start out saying, you know, okay, you need to, you know, repeat scripture. You need to keep repeating the same, you know, the same scriptures, you know, and just repeating it back and back and back and back and back. Because if you do that, you know, and if you fill your mind, you know, with positive things, it really, it really does make a difference, you know, because if you just get up every day and say, it's going to be a bad day. I'm not going to get stuff done. It's going to rain all day. Sorry, Sandy. <laughs> but Sandy, you know, today you're soaking wet. So, you know, so a fixed mindset would be, it's just going to rain every day. The sun's never going to shine again. But because Sandy has a growth mindset, she knows that tomorrow, maybe not tomorrow, but at least the next day or the next day, it's going to stop raining and the sun will shine again. Okay, so these are three things that I want y'all to jot down somewhere and I will post this so that you can copy it. But look, I even did it backwards. I did it backwards on my phone. I did it flipped on my phone so that you all can see it on here, but I will send you the copy going the correct way. So this is what we're going to do for our homework. We're going to take all of these, we're going to take all of these situations where we have a fixed mindset and your homework is going to be, I want you to, you know, find some of those situations. And sadly, it won't be hard for most of us to find these situations. Um, but I want you to find them, identify them, and then I want you to do these three things. So when you identify one of those situations, I want you to write it down. And then, you know, and whatever it is that you're thinking. So whatever that fixed mindset is. And then I want you to write down on anything. It could be on an, on an envelope that you're going to throw away. It could be on a post-it note. It could be on your wipe-off board. Um, you know, it could be wherever. And just write, you know, jot down whatever's going on. You know, the I can't, I won't, I don't. You know, those, those kinds of thoughts. And then underneath it, write down I am, I can, and I will. Okay, and we're going to talk about that for just a second. So I'm going to hold this, you know, while we're talking so that we can stay, so that we can stay reminded of it. So I hear a lot. I hear a lot of people say, you know, I can't walk 10,000 steps. You know, you say all the time that you need to walk 10,000 steps. Um, I don't remember telling anybody that they had to walk 10,000 steps. I don't think I've ever said that. I've said, I, I need you to do something I didn't say 10,000 steps specifically, but you know, but I've always encouraged everybody to do something. So instead of saying, I can't walk 10,000 steps, then why don't you write that, you know, the people that are having problems with that, you know, just write down, I can't walk 10,000 steps. And, but then write down, I am a healthy individual. Okay, Chris, Chris screenshotted it. Yeah, I'm, I promise I will post it. I will post it in the other direction. But so write down, so if that's you, write down, I can't walk 10,000 steps. And then underneath it, write down, I am healthy. I am healthy. I am alive. I am, oh, and Lindsay was just thinking about the 10,000 steps. Okay, so Lindsay, listen, this is just, this is for you. So, you know, I am healthy. I am alive. You know, I am in a country where we can, we can walk, hello, Angelia, where we can walk safely. You know, so write down what some of your I am's are, and then write down, I can walk 1,000 steps. I can walk 2,000 steps. So write down what you can do. You know, if you can't walk 10,000, write down what you can do. You know, I am healthy. I can walk 1,000 steps or 2,000 steps. And then, what? Barbara says, I gained five pounds from, oh, from vacation. Okay, yeah. So we'll talk about that in a second. And then say, I own good. And Sandra got in 13,134 steps today doing yard work. That is awesome. So Sandra's is, you know, I can do yard work. And then I will. So your I will could be, I will walk 1,000 steps three days. Um, Dee, I'm not sure. I didn't suggest that you unsubscribe. So I... I just, I said I was sorry and that I didn't, that I didn't want you to unsubscribe. Anyway, we can talk about that separately instead of in the live chat. But anyway, and then say, I am, I can, and I will. So I will walk a thousand steps three times this week, or I will um, work myself up to it. 
or I will set a goal for myself of walking X number of steps, you know, this week and then X number next week and then the next week, you know, or maybe something like that. And then, you know, or, you know, say something like, I will, I will work up to um, being able to walk, go with my grandchildren to the zoo, however many steps that would be, or I will work up to being able to do my 13,000 steps, you know, of yard work. And so I think that, you know, that was a great one. Okay, so that was just one example. Another one that I get a lot is, I don't know what to do. So people that are new to WW and haven't done this a million times, you know, like, like some of us have, um, but those people, um, okay, we don't need to, thank you, thank you all for defending me, but we don't need to, it's okay, she's, she's just having an issue, you know, and I, and I want to work on how to, on how to fix that, um, but there's nothing I can do about it while we're live, so we're going to stay on this, but the one, I, the next one I hear a lot of, a lot of, is um, I don't know what to do. People who are either brand new to WW or you don't have, you know, a good support group or, hey Mary, or you, um, you know, you just don't know what to do. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to, um, you know, you don't know, you just don't know what to do. So instead of saying, you know, I don't know what to do, so I'm just not gonna do it because that's a common one. You know, I am smart. You know, I am capable of asking questions. Um, I am surrounded by people that, you know, who love me and who support me. So, you know, figure out what your I am's are. And you don't just have to have one, you know, I am. It could be all three of those things that I just listed. Um, and hold on, Sherry says, I gave up months ago and have gained back almost every pound. I'm so disappointed. Guess what, Sherry? Been there, done that. Did it five times. Did it five times. Don't know why. Well, I do know why. Did it five times. Time number six, stuck. So don't give up because you are, I am, you know, I, I am, you are, I am capable. You've proven that you can do it. You can do it and you will take your time this time or you will surround yourself with people like us or you will take your time. Maybe you won't rush it this time. Okay, so the I don't know what to do. I am, I am intelligent. I have friends and family who support me. I am I am capable of going to a, um, a workshop. I am, you know, there's lots of I am's. I can um, call somebody for help. I can call the WW800 number. I can um, get online and get a, um, get a coach, or what do they call now? I'm gonna get in trouble for calling it a coach. I won't get in trouble, but for calling it a coach. But anyway, I can um, join the, if you have an egg, Facebook group and get some help there or I can attend Sunday night, our Sunday night live chats. And I will set one goal for myself. I will find out what 10, I will write down 20, 20 zero point foods, not just 10, 20 zero point foods. I will join the closed Facebook group. I will um, get some advice. I will check out with the coach. So there are lots of things that you could do on there too. Okay, and then the third one, is um that i hear a lot is i won't ever lose all my weight so i hear that a lot and i hear it a lot from people who already have does that sound familiar to anybody yeah i hear that a lot from people who already have i'll never lose all my weight never ever ever so let me tell you first of all um i am pretty close to, to my goal weight i am happier now at the weight that i am uh oh Oh, no, no, no. I just missed something. Okay, hopefully I won't. This is Sandra's first time live. Yay. Hey, Sandra. Welcome. I just saw you all saying welcome and I wanted to, oops, and I wanted to see what was going on. Okay, let me make sure I can, I can catch back up with you all without, without chucking anybody off. But anyway, um, so what was it? I, oh, I am, I am happier at the weight that I am now, you know, than when I was thinner than this, because I have been thinner than this before, you know, I am capable of losing, you know, all of my weight. I've proven it before. Um, I am worthy of, you know, of losing this. And I am not a quitter anymore. I'm not a quitter. So I can um, set a new goal weight. I can get the support of, you know, some family and friends. And I can, I can um, relax and let myself take it, you know, take it one day at a time now. And I will, I will set the new goal weight, which I already did, 
Um, I will get the support of family and friends, but y'all see where I'm headed with this. So I want you, I know, I know, I'm 100% sure something will come up this week. There will be something, and this is a perfect time to wrap this up. Um, there will be something that will come up this week that you'll think, I can't do this, or I won't do this, or I don't do this, or I never, or, you know, or I always mess up, or I whatever. So this is the perfect, perfect, perfect time for the I can the I can, I am, I can, and I will. So, um, but anyway, so I am, I can, and I will. Um, so I'm gonna, I'll, I'll post this in the group, and I want you, and I'll post it here on the page, and I'll post it wherever, post it on Instagram and whatever, because I want you all to do this, and I want you to tag me in your homework. So your homework is to figure out what that something is, because something will happen. There will be something that will happen. Um, and you'll think, I can't, I won't, I don't, you know, whatever. But and so I want you to write that down, if, even if it's on a sticky note, sticky note, if it's on, again, an envelope or something else, or if you want to make it fancy like a lot of you all do. And then underneath that, I am, I can, and I will, and write in those notes, okay? Okay, so y'all are going to tag me on that. Um, if it's on Instagram, you're going to tag me at um, if you have an egg. If it's here on the Facebook page, at if you have an egg. And if it is in our Facebook group, it's at Kelly Green Milligan, or if it's on Weight Watchers, it's at Scrap and Stamp 2. Yeah, don't ask. Okay, that is your homework for this week. So I want everybody to do it so I can give out more Bravo stickers next week. So I can give out lots more Bravo stickers next week. Okay, and we're going to take just a second to have a break, and then we're going to tell Barbara what this is. So hold, please. Okay, I had to get my water. So wait, Barbara, did you see me drinking my water? Okay, Barbara, I've been sucking down the water all day today, but part of that's because it is hot here, you know, in East Tennessee. Okay, so this is part two of our live chat number 123, and it was entitled, Open Your Mind. So part two has nothing to do with opening our minds, except, except um, to say, um, I, Let's see, what could I use that for? I could say, um, like if somebody said, yeah, yep, exactly, Barbara. If somebody said, you know, I don't know how to lighten up a recipe, or, um, you know, or I, I won't ever get any healthy vegetables in, or I don't like any of the zero point foods. Okay, so you could actually use, apply that to this week, you know, to what we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. I'm gonna show you what we're doing and get this in, or we're gonna run out of time on the finished part of it. But here's what we're doing. We're gonna make spaghetti squash in the air fryer. So has anybody ever made spaghetti squash in an air fryer? This one is already done. And I'm gonna take this out so you all can see it. But this is in my Simple Living Products 5.8 quart XL. And I'm gonna take this one out. You can see that this one is done. And look how steamy it is. And we are gonna get the other, the next one ready to go in here. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do this. Okay, this is still pretty warm, pretty darn warm. Okay, so I am going to set it up here for just a few minutes where y'all can maybe see that, maybe not. Okay, this is how you get it ready. So you're gonna take an air fryer, an air fryer, oh my goodness. You're gonna take a knife, you're gonna take a spaghetti squash and cut the ends of it off, okay? Just barely cut the ends of it off to make them square. And the reason you're gonna do that is, and I've already cut this one so I can't cut it again, but I stand it up this way. I don't turn it that way when I cut it or I cut my fingers off. So you're gonna stand it up this way on its end and then cut, you know, take a big, heavy, sharp knife and cut all the way down. Then you're gonna take a spoon, after you split it in two, you're gonna take a spoon, and this one's a funky kind of a spaghetti squash. See how it's orange instead of yellow? I can't remember what the sticker said, but it looked really cool, so I got one. Then you're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna dig out this part. So you're gonna dig out the seeds and kind of the guts in the middle. And by the magic of television, look, mine's already done because I went ahead and pre-scored it for you. Okay, and if you were me, you would put that into another containment system like I just did so that you can compost it because you don't ever throw anything away. So now you have this. So now the spaghetti squash should look like this. Okay, and we're just gonna take it and put it in the basket. So you're gonna put it in the basket of your air fryer, okay? 
And if you want to season it, you can. I'm just gonna spray it with just a tiny bit of olive oil nonstick spray. Did you hear that tiny bit? And you're gonna put it in your air fryer. And I put it on for 360. So I know I did that choo -choo 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 really quick, but on my Power XL, because I wanted to get it in there and let it start cooking, or we're gonna run out of time to show what it looks, you know, to show again what it looks like when it's done. But this, this air fryer, this is my Power XL 5.8 quart um, digital air fryer. And so when you put it in there, the basket, my basket's already pre-seasoned because you do that when you first get it with a little bit of coconut oil and it makes it super easy to clean. So we have the cut spaghetti squash. So I've cut it, scooped out the seeds from the inside, turned one side upside down. You could, I could have done both of them at the same time and it would have been the same amount, amount of time in the air fryer, but I wanted to be able to show you all one while another one was cooking. And then on the, um, Simple Living Products um, air fryer, you just push this button, you push that button to get it going, then you push this button to change the time, and this button to change the temperature. So you are going to put it in there on 360. So you, so you, you turn it on for 300 to 360 degrees, and then you change it to, um, um, 30 minutes. Yeah, I know Lindsay said she heard Dusty. Yeah, because Dusty heard me go chikink into the air fryer, so he thinks that's food time. Yeah, he thinks that's food. Um, but anyway, so I put it on 360 degrees, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's 360, and I put it in there for 30 minutes. So this was a pretty decent sized, um, a pretty decent sized one. Ooh, and Chris says put Alfredo sauce on it. Woo, yeah, 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 yeah. And Carol Lou is for 30 minutes but this one's a decent sized, you know, spaghetti squash. So it was like this big. I don't know how much it weighed. I really don't know how much it weighed. Um, but anyway, so, but it's really, really good. Um, it's good in the air fryer. And so, and what we're gonna use it for this week, one of the things that I'm gonna use it for is to bulk up to, hold on, let me grab my sign. So I'm going to use it to hashtag bulk it up this soup because you do use you do use rice vermicelli noodles in here but i am going to use the spaghetti squash because it's zero smart points so i'm going to use it to hashtag bulk up this recipe and if i freeze a little bit of it i might i we might make that next week okay while we're doing this so while we're waiting on that and how and when i'm gonna and i'm gonna show you how to get the guts out of this and then what to do with that i'm gonna take this is just one teeny tiny example of what you could do with it this is a half of a cup now it has water in it so it started to swell because it's been sitting here but this is just a half of a cup of trader joe's italian fusilli you see actually but um it is there's nothing special about this pasta other than i really like it um and the whole bag is like pretty inexpensive um, at trader joe's but this is only a half of a cup the serving size is two-thirds of a cup but this is a half of a cup which is four smart points and then i put another half a cup of water in here and so i'm just going to pop this in the microwave for five minutes while we're doing this So now we got two things going, but let's get back to the spaghetti squash. So this is what it looks like when you're done, okay? So it looks like this when you're done. And Barbara, this is why we had, this is why this little metal thing is here. And this is actually just the, um, let me set this back up here since I already got this a little bit oily. This is just the little pan that, came, that comes in your Simple Living Products um, air fryer. 5.8 quart digital air fryer and um, so I'm just using it as a display hey Susie so I'm just using it not display I'm using it as a stand upon for this so now that this is cooked you just take you take a fork and can you all see what it's doing there so you just take a fork and you're going to kind of shred it with the fork so hopefully you all can see that because I'm getting ready to make a ginormous mess 
if I don't stop. But you just keep doing that over and over and over and over again until you have, it is a dingle hopper, Lisa, yes it is. But you keep doing that until you have all until you have this whole thing shredded. And that sounds absolutely delicious in the Alfredo. But see how, in case y'all have never had spaghetti squash before, because I'm sure that there is someone, is there anybody who's never had, hmm, yeah, this one's orange. Is there anyone who's never had spaghetti squash before? Come on, just admit it. If you've never had it before, let me know. It is, and Loretta, it is 360 degrees for 30 minutes for this size. If you get one that's smaller than this, and you can do both halves at the same time, but if you get one that's, this is a half of one. If you get one that's smaller than this, you might want to check it at about 25. And if you get one that is much bigger than this, I try not to get them much bigger than this, but if you get one that's bigger than this, then you might want to check it at 30 and see, you know, and see what you think. Okay, and Carla just says, no, not for me. Okay, Carla, or no, not me. So, Carla, what do you think about it? Are you willing to try it? Stacy, are you willing to try it? Susie, are you willing to try this? Okay, so I'm not going to show you all a cup. I'm not going to show you all many things to do with it tonight just for the sake of of time oh we still have 20 minutes so i can show you a couple more things i'm going to show you what to do with what's in the microwave though but okay so you just fluff it up real good you know just kind of pulling it apart with my fingers just because you know again for the sake of for the sake of time so here's what you do with this okay so now it's called spaghetti squash because it kind of looks like spaghetti um, so yeah, Kathy's never had it. So there's several of you who have never had spaghetti squash. Trish has never had spaghetti squash because she didn't know what to do with it. Okay, I'm telling you, in the air fryer, it is so easy. So I've tried baking it. I've tried microwaving it. I have tried, um, you know, I've tried a lot of different ways. The air fryer, though, I mean, each, it's cooked. It is cooked all the way around. I mean, all the way through. So all of this is cooked. None of it's mushy. Um, sometimes in the microwave I'll get scorched spots, sometimes in the oven, you know, I'll get parts of it, part of it's cooked and part of it's not cooked. Um, but I mean, look how, look how just, I don't know, I wish y'all could smell this. I wish y'all could smell this because it smells really, really good. Okay, so butternut squash, I'm going to try it for you. Mm -hmm. By itself is yummy. So you could totally do, you could totally do. Okay, I think I just said, I think I just said butternut because somebody else said butternut. You could totally do spaghetti squash just by itself, but this is really good because it's got like a little, I don't know, it's like a nutty, it's like a nutty taste and somebody from the Food Network I'm sure is going to come, is going to come and just take me away because I am picking at this with my fingers and sticking them in my mouth and not wearing gloves and I'm not just being, I'm just being not very sanitary whatsoever, but let's face it, only me and John will be eating this. So it's not going to be a problem at all. So butternut squash, ways to eat, or butternut, stop it. Somebody said butternut a minute ago. Spaghetti squash. So some ways to eat spaghetti squash. We're waiting on this to cook. Um, yes, Chris just said salsa. It's, got, it's really good with salsa on it. It's really good with a little bit of spray butter. It is excellent with nutritional yeast. Don't get me started talking about, talking about nu nutritional yeast. Ooh, and Betty says she's going to shock her mother and make it better than she does. Awesome. If you find, if you get a little butternut squash, this one's a little bit big to do this with, but if you get a small butternut squash, yes, you can use nutritional yeast on it. Definitely, it gives it very cheesy taste. But if you want to do, um, oh, the microwave's ready. Uh, sorry, hold on, this is fussing with me. So if you had, come on, come out. Okay, so if you had a little bit smaller um, butternut, stop saying butternut. Whoever said butternut, I'm going to smack you. Spaghetti squash. If you had a little bit smaller spaghetti squash, um, that, like this one's a good size, but this is a lot. This, this like to eat this whole half of one, this would be a lot for one person. But you could put some nutritional yeast on it. You can put um, some um, Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese on it. And you can put some marinara sauce on it, and that's probably what I'm gonna do with one of these as I eat off of my hands. Don't come get me Food Network people. But anyway, food safety people. But um, so you could put the nutritional yeast, 
you know, maybe spritz the top of it with a little bit of um, olive oil again, just a tiny bit, not enough to be points, a little bit of marinara sauce, put on some nutritional yeast, and then, oh, uh, Missy, there's tons of stuff, tons of stuff to do to use the nutritional yeast for. Um, but anyway, then you put um, some, like some marinara sauce and some, maybe some garlic and stuff on there and then put nutritional yeast on it and then the Trader Joe's um, light shredded mozzarella, put that on there and then stick it back in the air fryer, you know, for just a couple of minutes, just enough to brown up, you know, the cheese that's on top and to heat up the marinara sauce. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like twice baked spaghetti. But let me show you what, one of the things that we do though. So this was a half a cup. This was a half a cup of the Trader Joe's pasta. Hey taters, of the Trader Joe's pasta. And then a half a cup of water. And you can see most of the water has evaporated off. So this is for people who don't just want the um, acorn. Acorn, now see, now you got me saying acorn. The spaghetti. Now this is for people who don't just want, don't want just spaghetti squash by itself like if you've got to sneak it in on you know kids or a husband or something then you can take a little bit of the spaghetti squash and you can put it in so that was for the for the pasta it was a half a cup of the Trader Joe's who's pasta and a half a cup of water I put it in the microwave on five minutes five minutes on high and you can see the pasta is completely cooked. Mm. So now, this is kind of a sneak attack. It's kind of a sneak attack on people who don't think that they're gonna want, ooh yeah, Chris says pizza sauce and turkey pepperoni to make it like a pizza. Ooh, that would be awesome, I've never done that. Okay, whoops, let me grab two things real quick that I did not think to get out before we started. Hold on just a second. Okay, so if you have people in your family who like cheap, 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 um, just regular, you know, mac and cheese, this is an easy way to sneak in some vegetables and to make Velveeta, like if you like if you eat shells and cheese, if you eat Velveeta shells and cheese, and we may have to put just a little bit of water in here because the pasta dried out just a little bit while it was waiting on me to come back and get it. But this is still just, this is still just the, you know, heat it up. You can add a little bit of skim milk if you want to. You can add a little bit of fat-free creamer if you want to. You could add some fat-free ricotta cheese. Um, sometimes I'll put a little spray butter in this, and I know this doesn't look real appetizing while I'm stirring it up here, but trust me, it will be. So this is for people who have those in their lives that love macaroni and cheese, but they're not gonna eat their vegetables. So this is a great way to sneak some vegetables in I'll go ahead and melt and it's melting it's already melting really well even without me without me putting it back in the microwave but when this gets done here I'll show it to you here in a second so that was I'm sorry that was two slices of Velveeta just regular Velveeta sliced cheese and I put that in with the pasta since it was a half of a cup that was four smart points the two pieces of Velveeta cheese are two smart points so that's six smart points and we're gonna end up with over a cup of macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Not one of my prettier things that I've made. And it's got, and it had some, so yeah, so it's less points, plus you just snuck some vegetables in here. So, oh yeah, and Lindsay says her 13 year old daughter, all she eats is mac and cheese. So when I get done with this, of course it's not gonna be pretty because I've mixed it now in the in the clear glass bowl. Let me grab another bowl. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Let me grab another little bowl. Okay, so y'all tell me when I get this put out here, if you think your kids would eat this. Cause I know my pickiest eaters, my pickiest eaters eat this.
and we still have, gosh, there's still probably over a cup left of spaghetti squash just from the first, just from the first half. Okay, so this is the world's easiest, it's the world's easiest spaghetti squash, excuse me, I'll lick the bowl, spaghetti squash mac and cheese. So look at that. So your picky eaters, your picky eaters wouldn't even know that that had spaghetti squash, you know, that it had vegetables hidden in there. Because it looks just like mac and cheese. And usually the people that I know that eat the most mac and cheese actually just love the cheapy cheap, easy, um, you know, the easy peasy, um, Velveeta, you know, Velveeta or Kraft, you know, kind. So that is one thing that you can do with it. So there's that. And then, and I'm not gonna mess up a whole bunch more dishes and show you all, you know, some more stuff, but look how much we have left of this. Look how much of this spaghetti squash we have left. So let's see, and I'm not gonna wash my cup that has the cheese in it now. Let's just see how much, how much we can get out of half of a spaghetti squash. Carol, it was six point, this is six points. So for all of that is six points because it's four point, it was four points for the pasta because we used a half, so here you can see it, because we used a half of a cup of the pasta instead of the um, two thirds of a cup like the serving size is. And you can use the pasta that has um, protein added to it. So it might be a little less points. You could use the um, carbonata, um, carbonata pasta, um, which has less points and no carbs or really low carbs, um, but you could use any of that. And you don't have to mix any, you don't have to mix any pasta in with it. You could just use the spaghetti squash because it is absolutely delicious. And actually I'm gonna get something cleaner to put this in. But um, you could just, you can just do the spaghetti squash. I was just showing you how, you know, how you could hide some of it, but see how easy, see how easy this comes out. So, and I'm, and there's still some in here. It's like it grows or something. Okay, so let me get something, gla another glass thing that I can show you how much, gosh, there's still some left in here. And this is half, this is half of this spaghetti squash. Okay, so who remembers, who remembers how many minutes I said? Who remembers what temperature, what temperature and how many minutes did I say? Who can remember that? Hmm? You get extra points. get extra points for remembering how many, what the temperature, and how many minutes I said. So look how fluffy that is. Look how fluffy and delicious. Okay, so with what we already put in the bowl, with what we already put in the bowl, you know, in the bowl making the mac and cheese, Yep, 360 for, th yep, 360 for 30, 30 at 360, 360 for 30, good job. Good job, y'all get extra, y'all get extra Bravo stickers. Extra Bravo stickers for paying such close attention. Okay, there is still a little bit left in here. Still a little bit left in here. And I have another cup's worth in here. And then that was at least, at least a half a cup that I put in there. Okay, and then, Look up real quick. So spaghetti squash. Okay, let's look this up real quick in our in our WW app. So spaghetti squash. Whoop. Okay, spaghetti squash cooked. A half a cup is a serving, so that's about how much I put in there. And it is zero smart points. It has a half a gram of protein. So it is still some protein and it has 1.1 grams of fiber. So for just a half, so for just a half of a cup, um, you get all that. So that is 0.5 grams of protein. And then let's see with our Velveeta. And you can use the Velveeta shreds um, if you have those instead. Oops, wrong one. Phone. 
So you've got five grams of protein in the cheese. You've got 1.1 gram of protein, you know, in here. And then if you added some nutritional yeast, that would be even more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And this is an awesome and great way to make fluffy, fluffy, yummy to eat. You can still rebake it in the shell. You can put everything back in the shell, put it back in the air fryer. You can put it back in the oven if you want to, if you just wanted to braise the top, you know, just the top of it and not cook the rest of it, serve it that way. You can scoop it out. You can put it in with spaghetti. You can mix it in with noodles like we did here to make macaroni and cheese. You can add it into, it's delicious, add it into eggs. It's good just by itself because it has a nice, has a nice nutty flavor. Mm, it's delicious with nutritional yeast on it. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, I think the Alfredo idea sounds great. I'm going to be trying that one. We'll see how much time we have left. Oh, we still have 10 minutes left on our air fryer. So we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it for the, you know, before the air fryer quits, but let's just take a quick peek at it. Okay. So a quick peek, a quick peek in here, and that's how it's looking. So you can see, you can, whoops, let me put it to the top. You can see that both of those, so both of them would have fit in here if I had, you know, if I had put them side to side by side, but I wanted to show you how this, you know, how this was cooking. But that's what it looks like so far. Okay, and I'm gonna stick it back in here and let it finish cooking. Remember, if it's a smaller, um, if it's a smaller spaghetti squash, you are going to want to um, check it, you know, at like 25 minutes. But there's a ton of things you can do with it. I'll be showing you some things um, all through the week. I am, um, oh, and Misty wants to know how you store it. If you use it all at once, it will stay for several days in the refrigerator. If you wanna, sometimes I just divide it out into separate Ziploc bags or I put it into separate you know, little containers. Um, but really, we'll probably be through all this in just you know like a day or two. But it will keep for several days. And you can, if you put it in a Ziploc bag, like a zippered um, bag, I usually put them in smaller zippered bags and then put those into a bigger freezer safe zip, you know, zippered bag. Um, and it can you can keep it in the freezer for a little while, at least for a couple of weeks. But there's tons of stuff. You can use spaghetti sauce. You can use um, Alfredo. I thought that was a great one. Um, you can make mac and cheese. But there's a lot you can do with it. It's a zero point WW food. Yes, Vicki, you can freeze it. But I would put it in the individual bags first. You're not going to want to have that big clump, you know, frozen. But this is making me hungry now. Haven't had supper yet, thinking I'm gonna have some mac and cheese because um, it's here and it's ready to go. But I'll give you all some ideas throughout the week. But don't forget to do your homework. I wanna see everybody make a spaghetti squash in the air fryer now. I think you'll love it. And Dusty is right here, either ready to try the spaghetti squash or to say goodnight. So let's see what he wants. Come on, buddy. But if you make something, if you make a spaghetti squash and if you tag me in it, you get extra bravos. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you all good night. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and get it put up before we go to bed. But everybody have an awesome week. Don't forget to do your homework and don't forget to tag me in it. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, please, please, please don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, comment. I do like to hear your comments. There will be a link on there for how to order the spread shirts. But y'all have an amazing week and we'll see you next week. Good night.